Dear Ryan and Sissini, it's a second date update. I'm a divorced woman. I married my high school sweetheart. We were together for a while. The truth is, it was, uh, wasn't because we got pregnant or anything. We just, we were in love. So we got married. Then as we got older, we grew apart. So now I'm back out on the dating scene and new to the area and I'm at a loss. I went on some dates and they went fine. Some of the guys called back, made it obvious and some didn't. I didn't really care. But now I met a guy and need some help. The last time I read flirting signs was on a note in homeroom. Well, let me just tell you, Robin, it ain't easy out there. The struggle is real. Mm-hmm. Signs, impossible. If people even look up to even have signs anymore, they just emoji you. <laughs> you just got to go with your gut. Robin? Yes? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So you're just confused about the signs, huh? Well, I'm, I'm out of practice. I yeah. guess you could say, you know, I never really got those flirting years. I never really figured out how to figure out how to date because I was because I was married to who I thought was the absolute love of my life at the time. Um, so now you've met this guy, Jack. Yes. And did yes. you go out with him? No, I um, I I would like to though. You would, okay. <laughs> uh, but I don't really know what to do. So um, he. He, um, I, I just started, you know, being back on the dating scene, I started to, you know, devote myself to my, to my health. And I started taking this CrossFit class, um, down where I live in, in Downey. And, uh, there's a yogurt land across the street from where I've been taking this CrossFit class. And I, um, and I went in there after a class one day, but I realized I had left my wallet in, in my locker, um, and so I was at the checkout counter, but I didn't have any money to pay for the yogurt that I had already kind of put into the cup. And there was this really handsome guy behind me with his two uh, young daughters. And he noticed, and he and it was Jack, and he paid for the whole thing. Um, and we ended up chatting a little bit, and it turns out he was also recently divorced. And um, he was very nice, and I... I told him, obviously, I was going to pay him back for the yogurt, but he said, don't worry about it. And then at the end of the conversation, he gave me his phone number, um, and he said, just in case you ever come up short on your yogurt money again, you know, here's my phone number. Aww. But I have no idea what to do with his phone number. I don't even know. Well, use it. Him? Yeah, you call him. <laughs> what I mean, do you do? Use do it. That? <laughs> of course. Well, Can girls make the first move? Yes, I, mean, I made the first move on my husband, and here we are. Did I miss out on my chance? Should I have given him my phone number? I don't know these things. Well, mm-hmm. I have him on the phone. So what can – he's listening to all this. I got him. So what are, What do you want us to do when we put you together on the phone? Um, I guess just – I mean, I don't I, – I, I really have no idea. I have no expectations. I don't, I'm trying not to think too hard about it, but okay, – well. Hang on one second, Robin. Um, we're going to put you on with Mr. Yogurtland. Are you Jack? Yes, hello? Is that the sound of Jack's voice, Robin? Yes. Okay, hang on, you two. That's cute. <laughs> Coming up next, someone's getting asked out. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, let's grab uh, Robin. Robin? Yes? Okay, I got you, and I got the guy, Jack, who you met at Yogurtland, who bought you your yogurt, and then he gave you his number. Right. And you, you didn't use it yet. No. Now, remember, she's been divorced, and she has she married a high school sweetheart and has not been out in the, the dating world in a while, and it is confusing, no doubt. Um, most people speak via text and emoji. What's the best, hey, what's the like sweetest emoji Michael can send you, Sissini? Like, what's one that just let you go, aw? Oh, I think the one with, like, the hard eyes. Yeah. Or if he gets creative, like, what I don't know. like unicorn mean? Just a unicorn. I get that, and I'm like, I think that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I think that means that you're her unicorn, because you're so, you know, there's no one else out there like you. Mm. Well, I'd like to think that, but that's not what it is. I, I think, because I'll ask, like, hey, do you want burritos? And I get a unicorn. So I'm confused. Like, anyway, <laughs> so my point is, we'll Robin, come back to that. it's very difficult to decipher in this world right now. So I'm going right. to put J- Jack on the phone and let's see if we can broker a date. Jack? Hello? Hi, Jack. So uh, we have Robin on the phone. Remember Robin? I do, yes. Hi, Good. Jack. Good. So you gave Robin your number, right? 
I did. Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. I and... definitely did. I was hoping you would call. Well, she's calling. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I didn't really know. Um, I didn't really know if I should call you or not. If that's what you meant uh, when you gave me your phone number, so I decided to try something a little different here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anything you'd like to say, Jack? Now that we're all here on the phone, I no. I mean. Like I said, I was hoping it would call you. You, you would call, and and the fact that we're all kind of here with some an interesting group of people means that uh, that uh, I guess she's pretty serious about it. So I would love to go out with you again. I Did think you go really? out the first time. Have you been out? I would be. Well, I'm, well I mean, we met at the at Frozen Yogurt. So yeah, I mean, you'd love, like yeah, you love to see her again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would love to see you again. Yes, absolutely. So, okay. Well, so Jack, she yeah. uh, mentioned that you two were recently divorced, and it's true. Uh, getting back into the dating thing is just weird. It's just awkward, and times have changed so much that I understand it's difficult to read signs. But I will say this to you, Robin: it's pretty standard. If someone gives you their number, you're allowed to use it. <laughs> well, and maybe I—I I mean, as much as I love having your help, maybe I—maybe I don't need it next time, or maybe there won't be a next time. Maybe who knows? Jack no, 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 don't say things like that. Yeah. Don't say things like that. <laughs> Basically, all we have to do now is say, uh, I'll pick you up, Robin, first, then Jack, and we'll figure out where we're going to go later, the three of us. No, I don't think you're going, Ryan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Times have changed. You should come along for the first half, Ryan. Oh. Oh. Then you're gonna oh. Oh. What's that, too? All right. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, good luck, and I hope it works out for the both of you. And I'm going to hang up on you, but Robin, you, you and Jack exchange, okay? Okay, good. Thank you so much, okay. Ryan. Thank you. Bye, Jack. Bye, Robin. Bye, yes. Bye. 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 (laughs) I think it's so great. Yeah. It was like you were like putting a kid in the pool without their floaties for the first time. I know. (laughs) I I know. I know.